everybody, it's Miss Melissa. I am so happy to get to talk to you guys again this week. Well, this week, we're going to learn a little bit more about the end of Moses' time and the new leader. So first, let's pretend that we're coming out of church, right? And we stop where? At the Jesus banner, that's right. Okay. And we talk about how God loves us, right? And we talked last week about how we can't see God, but we can see God all around and how he wants us to love each other and the loving things that people do and the loving things that we can do, right? So let's, and we're all children of God and God wants us to remember that as we love him and love each other. Let's go ahead and count the children of God, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and you have to count from home from twenty-one, okay? All right. So then we go in our classroom and turn our candle on. So let's go ahead and um, I have to light mine. So this is something that you have to have an adult do if you have to have a light candle lit. Okay. Let's go ahead and here I think Priscilla has something to tell us. Oh. I can get a hold of her, huh? Oh, there we go. Hi, everybody! Guess what? I slept at my grandma's house last night, and we had so much fun together. Well, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? What do you think they did together? What should you do together, Priscilla? Oh, all kinds of things. But we did lots of singing, and my grandma taught me a really silly song. It was all around the mulberry bush. The monkey chased the weasel. Monkey thought was all in fun. Pop goes the weasel. That is a funny song, isn't it? You know what? I bet there's a lot of funny songs that we can think about that our parents or maybe grandparents or teachers have taught us. Well, today we're going to hear somebody a story about Moses who passed a special blessing to another person. Go ahead and hear our story, okay? Priscilla's just going to sit and listen. All right. So our story is in the curriculum, and it's based on Deuteronomy 34, chapters 1 through 12, called Moses Blesses Joshua. Moses was the leader of the people of Israel. Moses had helped the people of Israel to travel to a new land, and they had many adventures along the way. But now Moses was growing very old, and his hair was long and gray, and he walked slowly and he talked slowly too. And one day, Moses called all the people together and Moses said to the people, Friends, I am growing very old. I've led you for many years, and we have walked together and talked together for many moons. But now I'm feeling tired, and I need to rest. And the people started to whisper, Who will lead us now? Who will be in charge? They said to each other. They were worried. Moses heard their whispers and felt their worry, and he said, Dear friends, God will take care of you. There will be a new leader, someone younger, who can continue walking with you and show you the way to go. So Mo Moses invited Joshua to come stand beside him. And the people looked at Joshua and they weren't sure that this was the right person to lead them. They loved Moses. Moses was their leader. But Moses said, this is Joshua. 
He's a good listener and a smart thinker. He'll be a good leader. So Joshua knelt down in front of Moses, and Moses put his hands on Joshua's head and said, I will bless you, Joshua. Be strong and be brave. You will lead the people to the land God has promised to them. You will continue telling the people about God's love. And God will be with you and keep you safe. And the people started to smile. They knew that Moses was right and God would be with them. And God would take care of their new leader, Joshua. I like that story. Well, for our craft today, we have this page as part of the curriculum. And it has two different options. But I think it might be fun to do both of them, actually. It has different things. It says, God blesses you in the big cards. And what you can do is you can color that and then cut it out and you can give it to people. And the same thing with these ones over here. On this side, it says, you are special to God. Be strong and have courage knowing God loves you. I think that would be really cool to be able to get that from somebody. So I think that's what we should do for our craft, okay? Kind of a short lesson this week, huh? Well, we'll have to learn. I want you all to think about what loving things you can do, okay? To show that God's love, go show God's love. All right? Well, why don't we close with a prayer, okay? Dear God, thank you for allowing us to be together and thank you for allowing us to show your love and the love that you've given to us. Please be with all those who need you, God, and please help us to remember that we're blessed and that God wants us, that you want us to, that you love us and want us to be strong and have courage. In your name we pray, dear God. Amen. Okay? Alright, well, have a good week.